What's up everybody and welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. Thank you for joining us today. It's Valentine's Day and that's why today I would cuddle you so oh. hard if you're a woman, not if you're a dude. If you're a dude, I give you a manly handshake, maybe a fist bump because of COVID, pat on the back and we'll call it a day. So we're going to do another six warning signs of online dating just for people who are single and also I guess for people who are taking and just want to see what single people have to go through because a lot of people didn't have to do online dating to get their significant other, but a lot of us still have to use whatever means necessary to get that person. So let's get into it, shall we? Warning sign number one is any chick's profile that says she's DTF or wants FWB, which means she's down to beep, or she wants friends with benefits. First of all, if you see that profile 99% of the time, it's fake. I don't know who still falls for that, but they still exist. So apparently somebody's falling for it. They think, oh wow. I can finally find someone to hook up with me. No, 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 no. It's fake. Just go on to the next one. You're wasting your time. Also, if she says that, she's probably been with a lot of other people. And I'm not slut shaming anybody, but there's a reason why AIDS spreads so much amongst gay men. Because any gay man would just, oh, cool, I want to have sex with anybody. And, oh, you want to have sex? I want to have sex. And everybody just has sex and everybody keeps getting AIDS. Women are the reason why STDs is not running rampant among every single person on the planet. Because once again, dudes will say yes to anything. So if you find a chick that says yes to anything, she's going to catch it from one of the guys who said yes to everything. And then you're going to get it. And then surprise, you're in the hospital. So avoid that at all costs. The second warning sign is pretty huge, but a lot of people don't think about it until it's too late. So that's what I'm here for. It's people who have different religious or political views. Now, if you don't really care about religion and they don't really care about religion and you don't care about politics and they don't care about politics or maybe they're really into it, it can, might work. But if you're really left and they're really right, it's not going to work. Or if you're a Christian and they're a Muslim, not going to work. Especially if you don't like to go to church and they want to make you go to church and then you got to wake up every Sunday when COVID is done, you have to wake up put your clothes on, get all nice and fancy, and go to church every Sunday when you're like, hey, I only get two days a week to sleep and now I'm losing half of them. So if you're not into religion, probably shouldn't find someone who is. The third reason is also a huge one. It's uh, never meet a chick at her house, okay? Okay, I get it. You're talking to this girl, everything's going great, you think it's gonna go good. You don't think she's a catfish. Even if you've, even if you had phone conversations with her and you had FaceTime, that's fine. Still don't meet her at a house and go straight inside, okay? You know why? It's a safety issue. Meet her, go out on a date with her, hang out with her, then maybe if things progress, then go into her house. You do not want to meet her at exactly six o'clock or whatever at her house and then you gotta start fooling around because there's a reason why people don't pull over and help people on the side of the road anymore. Because the people get jumped and killed and murdered and all the kinds of things and bad stuff happens to them and you don't want that to happen to you. That happens to people when they're fully clothed on the side of the road. What are you going to do when you're butt naked in a stranger's house and then five dudes walk in and you're like, oh, I, no, it's just, just me and her. We guys, we're, we're good. And you turn around and she's just like, like, oh no, like, eh, there you go. You wake up in a tub full of ice and your kidney's missing. All right. That happens. Okay. Don't let it be you. The fourth warning sign is thick girls. I get it. They're all that social media talks about. I got the curves and the boobs and everything looks great, whatever, and then you're like, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. But guess what? Those curves come from something. It comes from you having to pay for the food now. So you can't just keep those by like, um, we're gonna have a little no, you gotta feed her a lot, you gotta feed her often, you gotta feed her lots of calories. So you're gonna be the one making two o'clock runs to Wendy's to get her a frosty and nuggets and stuff just to keep those curves. Is it worth it? Number five is chicks who have on their profile says they like guys who are open-minded. Now, this is not talking about they want some guy who wants to have like a second girl come into the relationship and you do menage a trois and stuff like that. No, that's not what they're talking about. They're not talking about guys who like to eat meat and something like vegetables, just kind of oh, open-minded with like how you eat. Maybe that's what they mean. No, 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 they don't mean that. They mean they were born a dude. Now, if that's something you are interested in, Go right ahead, but just letting you know, when she says open-minded, she's not talking about diet. She's talking about something between her legs. All right, so the sixth one on this particular video are fit girls. Now, these are girls that go to the gym a lot. I get it, guys. That's my favorite type of chick, is a fit girl who's got nice curves, got a nice little booty on her, thin legs, tone, order. It's perfect. But if you're not in that fitness life, it's not going to work out because she's not gonna let you just sit on the couch, eat Cheetos while she's going to the gym working out. 
doing bench press squats and doing all kinds of things like that. No, it's not going to work out. So if you thought it was bad enough having to get up every Sunday to go to church, it's going to be so much worse when you're doing burpees 50 times a day and then going to the gym and having to eat right and eating broccoli and all those other things. It's a nightmare. So if you're into fitness, they're perfect for you. But if you're not into fitness, just move on to a thick chick and start going to Wendy's at 2 in the morning. That's more your lane. And there you have it. That's six more warning signs for online dating. I hope I was able to help out all the single fellas out there. And the ladies, I'm sure you could have used some of the advice. Especially if you don't ever go to a guy's house alone. Don't do that. That's how you wind up dead. And we don't want that to happen to anybody. Hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Whether you're single or taken or somewhere in between. Just as long as you have a wonderful February 14th, 2021. And whatever day you happen to catch this video. I don't care if it's 60 years in the future. But 65 years in the future is too late, okay? You, you just have to have a rotten day. But 60 years into the future, hope you have a wonderful day. That's it. Just uh, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I do appreciate it greatly. Maybe even give it a share if you like it. And until next time, peace.